there is no more apartheid and no one is benefiting from other people suffering in South Africa today. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about. The North Americans always have an opinion about everything. We have no idea what's really going on in another country. Doc, excuse me, have you ever heard of the Dutch realization? Capitalism and democracy that developed in Europe, which led to millions of improvement. South Africa never had a democracy and it is the Europeans who introduced this idea. Africa had chiefs who were dictators and could do whatever they like. Medical advancements, paved roads, railroads, capitalistic forms of farming which could sustain great populations and allow people to focus on other tasks besides farming, etc. The health improvement and all material things which makes life easier and the improved quality of life is all due to the advancements which were made in Europe. These things were introduced by the whites in Africa. If it was not for them, blacks in Africa will still be now I want you to listen to this one more time guess the blacks in Africa called somebody up in Europe and said come on in here and build us some roads then while you're building us these roads now matter of fact put us to work building these roads matter of fact put us to work for building these roads and then we'll build you houses that we cannot live in then after we build you houses that we cannot live in we'll go ahead and let you rape and murder and send a few of us overseas oh yeah and then why don't you pack us in the boats like sardines in a can and send us overseas we'll build roads over there and we'll do this and we'll do that and we've done this and we've done that what the fuck did you do apparently you're telling me that you guys went into South Africa and made it better for the Africans or Africa what did you do for the Africans when you went to Africa did you build them homes no when you went to Africa, did you allow them to express themselves? No. When you went to Africa, did you let them have their own religion and beliefs? No. When you went to Africa, did you let them keep their monarchies? No. When you went to Africa, what did you do for the African people? You enslaved them. Why? The Arabs was doing it. You might as well do what the Arabs was doing. It doesn't matter, does it? What what influence did you have? What 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 you do? You all the shit you wrote on the page. You could have put a video camera up and said it. You look stupid saying it. The people nowadays do not benefit from those of apartheid. Did they give the land back that they built on? Oh, are they giving the farming rights back to the locals? You tell me what the African people are benefiting from after apartheid. They get to ride on the streets that they built as slaves. They get to walk through the cities now. What are they? Can they stay at the hotels? I heard South Africa is the United States of America in 1942 and 2009. So what are you telling me? This is what I've heard. This is what I see on TV. I don't see South Africans living large on TV. No, I don't. I don't. And whenever I see Africa, I don't see a, a united nation. I don't see the USA, United States of Africa. I see a whole bunch of different zones split up for the divide and conquer. 
that has been going on for thousands of years. So look at you. You are still benefiting from these people being underhand. Do they live in your neighborhood? Do they drive the cars that you do? Based on population, based on education, is the health care and education equal? Is it the same? Have the guys been equal since 1805? How long you been equal? How long has equality been on the table, baby? What, four years? Five years? Six years? Ten years of equality? Hell, the blacks in America only only sucking on equality, be sucking on equality since what? 60-something? Late 50s? Late 50s? 1950-something? Did, did the blacks get freed in 1950? Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nelson Mandela was the president, correct? And after they gave Nelson his shot, apartheid was over. The world has been free. Let me tell you about a man locked up for 30 years, baby. The mind don't work the same. Stockholm Syndrome, homie. Stockholm Syndrome. Even though this is a man that the world loves, Stockholm Syndrome. In anybody's fight for equality, you can't put the captors first. You can't. And here in America, we put our captors first. Oh, boss, master, here's the key to lock up my cell. Slap me on the arm. Beat me. Fuck my wife. Kill my kids. Take everything I got, master. Just let me live. Don't kill me with that white man freed the world bullshit. The Indians probably had all kind of organic technology that we will never know about because why? They've all been rounded up and placed in concentration camps that we now call reservations. Make reservations to go a place. Don't have reservations made for you and you be placed on a reservation, baby. The South Africans and the Africans and the Africa did not get reservations. They don't have African casinos. They don't have empowerment zones. You telling me every black man can live in a neighborhood with the, with the whites? You telling me the kids go to the same schools? You telling me the white people eat the same food as the lowly mongrel Negroes, the Kefos? Huh? You telling me y'all exactly the same as the Kephas now? Huh, you equal? That's a goddamn lie. And your fucking God? Your fucking God done fucking lied to. Your God is a liar. Your God is a liar. Believe that. When you go place your will upon another people, that is not the will of God. That is the will of man. You do not make a group of people conform to your will because that's best for you. These people have been living in the bush and in dirt and in mud and in life and in caves and in pyramids and in whatever the hell else they had before you got there. And you you gave them this great this great life? Snatching their children off the coast, whisking them around the world to do your dirty deeds? Buffalo soldier, do you understand the meaning of that song? Dreadlock Rasta. Killing Indians for the white man. For more land because the Europeans' way of life is better for America. Watch what you say because people are not dumb. I know there's been great advancements at whose cost, at what cost, and why. If somebody asks for help, I can understand giving it. But conquering and, uh, and enforcing your will upon people and saying it's better, better for who? Better for who? And old money. Old money spawned from way back then when they were underfoot. Old money keeps you alive. So please, you've been too, and I'm not talking on this no more.